with my hands at the three o'clock and nine o'clock position on the front tire. I'm going to rock the tire in and out with the tire on. You'll see the movement on the spring and the strut. Back and forth. If I try to go up and down, no movement whatsoever. It's very, very tight. Let's speed things up while we take the old tire off driveway style. I wish it was that fast in real life. Always put your lug nuts where you will be able to find them when you're finished. It took me years and years to learn that one. I'm talking years. Don't ask me why I'm hard-headed that way. All right, tire off. Now we're gonna see if we can find out where this thing is loose at. I replaced stabilizer bar on both sides, outer tie rod end, complete lower control arm assembly with new lower ball joints, uh, rotor, brake shoes, and caliper. Uh, pretty close to a complete front end rebuild, pretty close. The only thing I didn't do was the strut, inner tie rod, and the actual sway bar bushings themselves, but they're all nice and tight. If the inner tie rod was bad, would I get this kind of movement? I'm thinking that's my problem. I don't think it's a strut after all. I think I answered my own question, but Sure would love a professional's opinion. Inner tie rod? Alrighty then. I think we've got that one nailed. <laughs>